I am so excited for today's video. Today, I'm doing origami. More specifically, I'm gonna be building the world's biggest origami statue today. My goal is to actually have it the same height as me. There's a bunch of different types of origami, but today I'm gonna be doing 3D origami, which is pretty much where you fold pieces of paper into little shapes and you connect all those pieces together to make like one final figure. I've seen a lot of people do like minions, angry birds, a lot of different things. I wanna make like a giant teddy bear. I feel like that would look cool. Usually when you make these things out of origami, each of the pieces is this big, but my pieces are gonna be this big. This is one whole sheet of paper. To fold just one piece, you take a sheet of paper, fold it in half, fold it in half again, then fold the corners down to the center line. Fold the corners in again, close the flaps, fold it in half, and that's one piece. We're gonna need a lot of pieces. Let's start folding. Love you. Right away, I realized the papers were gonna take way longer than I expected. The first ream of paper I started folding had 500 sheets of paper in it, and to finish that one, it took me three hours. Let's start with the first bag of 500. I started building the base of the bear's body, which I've made 48 pieces around the bottom, and then I started adding pieces layer by layer to make it taller. I'm starting with the teddy bear's stomach, body area. Look how big this is. This is crazy. This is just the bottom. Now I got some white pieces. I'm gonna add these on the front of it right here as I go up to make like the white stomach of the teddy bear. So far, this is only 250 pieces. This is gonna be huge. I kept adding papers layer by layer and building it up but I think I underestimated how many pieces of paper I would actually need to build this thing because I pretty quickly ran out of papers. I calculated that one piece took me about 45 seconds to make and I would probably need like 4,000 pieces to finish this thing which would literally take me a hundred hours to fold. I'm gonna need some help. I drove to all my friends houses and dropped off paper and asked them to fold it for me so at the end of the week I'd have all the papers folded and ready to build. Oh my god. Look how much paper is in my car. This is gonna be horrible to clean up but I just I feel like this is gonna look so cool. Ready? This is actually insane. This is 8,000 pieces total, not even counting the few thousand I made and all the white ones I still have to make. But now I just gotta put these all together. This is what it looks like now. Let's start. Right away, I noticed it was way easier to put this thing together and it started moving way faster just having the pieces next to me done. Each pack of paper is 24 pounds. This whole thing's gonna take more than 15 packs of paper, which is 360. This is gonna be 360 pounds when it's done, which is heavy, already pretty heavy. It's so heavy now that the bottom ones, the ones down here are kind of like getting crushed by all this weight. <laughs> Something about this is so satisfying. Ready? After I added like 50 more layers to the bear, the stomach was done. I used the same method and made a little leg for the bear to stand on, and then when I tried to put it on, it didn't work at all. All right, so I have an idea. Instead of this sitting on the legs, I'm gonna take the legs and put them like sticking out of the bear. So it looks like the bear's like sitting down. It won't be as tall, but I think it'll just make more sense. And then I can actually move it around. All right, the legs are pretty much done. It's two in the morning right now. Um, Before I go to bed, I wanna get this part ready for the head tomorrow. I'm gonna glue some of these pieces backwards like this. So in the morning, I can start putting pieces over these pieces and kind of form the head. All right, good morning. Now I'm gonna start building the head on top of these. These are all dry. So I'm gonna start building the head on top of this, just putting pieces on like normal, over these pieces I glued on. Today is also the final day. My goal is to finish this thing today. It's eight o'clock in the morning, we have all day. I continued adding pieces on the top of the bear, going around and around adding layers to make the head circular. But the more pieces I added on, the bear started tilting forward more and it kind of got off balance. I don't know if you can tell, but it's leaning forward toward the stomach. Uh, okay, I'm not sure really what's happening, but the whole thing's kind of like, do you see that? It's like tilting to the side. I don't know why, but I think it's gonna fall over so oh my god i think it's because the white paper's thicker than the blue paper so it's kind of heavier and it's like leaning forward which is not good but i have an idea i had an extra couch laying around and this is gonna be the base of the bear kind of like the platform that the bear stuck to i'm gonna have the teddy bear sitting on the couch so i can like tie it to the couch i'm gonna have him sitting on the couch like this perfect let's get just, the bear did you just fart ah! okay wait. Wait, wait, wait wait oh my god Okay. okay, it's actually. It's it looks actually like heavy. a pineapple. Dude, it's actually heavy now. It's not a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's just continue building. Honestly, once the bear was on the couch, it was way easier to do it. And the couch actually added some height to the bear, so it was still gonna be the same height as me when it was done. And I didn't have to worry about the bear going anywhere because I just leaned it back against the back of the couch in the wall. All right, guys, I just finished the head on the bear. Look at this is the head. Wait, go from the front. It kind of looks, looks a little lopsided from the side. So look at it from the front. That's the head. Obviously, I'm going to morph the shape to be better. But now I'm going to start on the ears. For the ears, I took a bunch of pieces and stretched them out and then put them on top of each other one by one to make a long line of paper. Then once I had a long line of 
50 pieces. I folded that into like a circle, like a shape of an ear. I see inside here, right in here, how there's all those folds right there. I need to cut that. So now it's open. Trace the shape onto this white piece of paper. Cut that out. I'm gonna glue it down so it doesn't move around. I'm gonna cut a hole in the bear so I can like fit the ear inside its head. All right, so I made this arm for the bear. I'm gonna put it right here. All right, so I'm gonna put glue all on the top hey, of- hey. What? I really like your hoodie. My hoodie? Can I feel the embroidery? Whoa, whoa. It's a very nice hoodie. Whoa. Can I get one? Yeah, just don't sleep without chop. So I put a bunch of glue on this. Ready? I'm gonna stick it to the bear. Go fast. Yeah, go, 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 go. Yay! I think it looks like a little dingleberry hanging up. No! All right, guys, I got the other ear. This is the other ear. No. I'm gonna cut his head open. All right, on this foot right here, I'm gonna put, I cut out a white piece of paper. I'm gonna put right over it. That looks better, yeah? Does that look better? Once the feet were done, I made another arm to put on the other side of the bear, and then it was time for the face. I used black paper and cut out two circles, and then I cut out two smaller white circles to be like the reflection on the eyeballs. And then I stuck those on the bear's face, and then the bear was done. Okay. <gasps> I love it! Cool, huh? Oh my god! Oh, that is so good! That's so good! All right, guys, the bear's done. I freaking love it. Look at this thing. I think it's cool for something made out of paper, but I want to do a giveaway. This is a fun idea I have. If you can guess in the comments how many pieces of paper I use, I didn't use all the pieces of paper that I have. I have a bunch more. Go back, watch the video, slow it down, count. I don't know if you're that bored, but if you're the first person to comment the exact number of pieces I use in this thing, I have the number. I will give $1,000. First comment that says the exact number will win $1,000. So if you guys can count, take a look at it. I don't know. Do what you got to do. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next Saturday. Me and my bear are going to go cuddle. Ready? Subscribe to Marco. He is so sexy.